Well, I'll start playing. Ah, uh, yes. What? He doesn't have to call his girlfriend to the university laboratory. And if you go, you'll probably just get ignored again like yesterday. That's no big deal. And the fact that he's asking whether you've been there before or not probably means he goes to a different university than you. Huh. That is good insight. I guess this isn't forbidden love between a teacher and a student. Darn. No, that's a good thing! Why are you saying darn? Well, the fewer obstacles, the better. But I wonder what kind of student you were to him then. I don't know. Uh, I'm actually gonna move chat just a little bit. Nah, I like chat down here. I'm sure the details concerning why you started to go out is an important part of your memories. How do I know? I don't remember them. <laughs> it's okay, Maru. You're back where you were. We really need to find out more about your relationship with Kent. Anyway, wanna try going to this university laboratory? He told us the name of the university, so we should be able to get there on our own if we look it up online first. Good idea. Exactly the best idea. It's not like you get any stimulation at home. You could just bring your work manual and read it while you sit with Kent again. Okay, now that that's decided, let's get changed and go to Seichi University. One hour later. Alright, we arrived without a problem. It was almost too easy. Why would it be too easy? Kent said he's in the laboratory, but I wonder which laboratory it is exactly. I don't know, we could ask someone. It's only been a week since you started going out, but you probably would have known in the past. Um, we could ask someone. It would be bad if you were like, which laboratory are you in again? No, I wouldn't. It'd be fine. Oh, what to do? He said to call if you got lost, but he would make fun of you for sure. I don't get the impression from the very little I know about him that he would make fun of me. Yeah, I'll try calling him. Okay, but you'd better be prepared for some sarcasm. Alright, oh, also don't ask which laboratory. You just need to tell him you're lost, and I doubt he'll suspect you have amnesia. Okay. You got lost. I thought this would happen. I was just thinking of going to find you. I just stepped outside when you called. Well, that was nice of him. Where are you now? Just stay there and don't move. Can I at least breathe? came this far and got lost? There are plenty of people around here who know where my lab is. You should have asked someone. See, he's not making fun of me, he's just saying that I had bad ideas. You really don't think ahead, do you? But the fact that you relied on me is... I mean, this might have been the first time you ever called me. Ah, uh, he liked being called. The fact that you chose me rather than asking a stranger for directions was the optimal choice. Uh, anyway, let's go. <laughs> Ryan seems pleased. What was that? Is he embarrassed? And you two are dating, yet this is the first time you've ever called him? Huh, I wonder. There were some psychology books in my apartment. Is, is he an experiment? Am I a cruel, horrible person? I don't know. You weren't replying to messages either, right? Why not? 
didn't you like Kent? I don't know. Can't remember. <laughs> You're both so complicated. Come in, make yourself at home. This is a shared room used by graduate students for mathematics research. But in reality, it's more like my own private room. There's rarely anybody here on Wednesdays, especially. So my friends just come in as they please. You can relax. Cool. Ah, uh, he left you alone again. Just as I thought. He said to relax, but... It's hard to feel at home in what looks like a workplace. That's fine. Also, it sounds like Kent is enrolled in a math program. Or at least, that's what I gather. Maybe he was a math tutor. I wonder what he's researching. He said this is for graduate students, so he must be a graduate student too. I want to ask him a lot of things, but I also feel like we'd be getting in his way. We need to study for work. What will you do? Will you try talking to him? Yeah. Have the two of us ever had a productive discussion before? I'd like to hear such a topic, if you can think of one. As far as I know, either the questions you ask me are useless and a waste of my time, or we simply end up arguing. Or are you asking for us to have a conversation rather than a discussion? Yes. Yes, I am. At times I have talked with friends that can't be called discussions. Is that what you're requesting? God, this guy is weird. Yes, that's it. I'm surprised he understood. Could you have been dissatisfied by a lack of conversation? Still, conversations are something that occur on their own. They aren't something you request. It's difficult to simply come up with a topic out of the blue, but I'd be willing to talk if you don't mind what the subject is. At best, this subject is simply idle chatter, but... My field of study, mathematics, is often misunderstood. It isn't necessarily about pure mathematical logic alone. It's often believed that mathematics is comprised of logic and theorems. Theorems? And the construction of aesthetic equations is highly regarded, but I reject that. Well, at least I got him talking. I mainly focus on utilizing those theorems to define physical phenomena. And one method of that is... I have a feeling this is going to take a while. It's okay, Orion. I got him talking. That's like... something, right? It's already evening. What will you do? Will you go home? Huh? Did I fall asleep? Don't stand in her way like that. You're really tall and scary. Nah. Being short my whole life, no. No. Yes. Tall people are scary. Why haven't you become angry? Why haven't you complained? Your attitude is far too questionable. What happened to you after our fight three days ago? Heck if I can remember. Could you also... Am I just making foolish assumptions thinking that you're tired of arguing too? Huh? I've heard that the first stage in dating is to be together as much as possible. But when is the first stage considered complete? I don't know what changes occurred by our simply being together, but your attitude really has changed. How should I perceive this? If your feelings towards me have changed even a little, I... Uh, who's this guy? I don't know. I don't know who he is. Now I know who he is. Seems my senses have dulled. I didn't notice your intrusion. 
Victory is mine, Ken. Do you have any last words for your family? I take it this is a friendly interaction. I see. Tell them I fought bravely. I shall. What's with this conversation? What are they doing? And who's that guy? Now, I'll have you check my answer. You've solved your math puzzle. I knew it. It was a friendly interaction. That's correct. You've improved, EQ. It's thanks to you, Ken. Um... Who is he? Is he Kent's friend? Huh? Who's this cute girl? Is she a math student? Why aren't you saying anything? Aw, oh, he's embarrassed. Her name is QNX933. She's the woman I'm dating. Sorry, I had to go giggle. Because of my name. What? Dating? Really? Like, seriously? This isn't another experiment or research or some kind of weird study, is it? It... it might be. I don't think he's a robot, E10. No. I'm Iki. It's nice to meet you. Please, don't be put off by this guy's dumb nickname for me. What? Yeah, what are you doing? Can't you tell? This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to see you get jealous, and I'm not going to miss it. Oh. Okay. This is the one thing I won't forgive you for. Oh, so they're like, five? Yeah, I'm not scared either. Ken, I thought you didn't believe in my power. Or are you worried, after seeing it all this time? What power? It looks like your boyfriend is getting really jealous, but how do you feel? Wouldn't you prefer me? <laughs> What's with this narcissist? Sure Kent acts like he does, but this guy's even worse. Oh, you really said that? You're so bold. Ah, uh, Happy New Year, Cut. If you're ever watching this video, I'll probably say it to you sometime. Sometime. Yep. Wait a second. What? It's not working? Looks like it. You're kidding. Really? But this is a surprise, so there are girls it doesn't work on. Yeah, I don't know. What's he talking about? What's not working? Is he using hypnosis or something? Nah, he's probably just full of himself and thinks he has powers. Clover versus spades? Alright. QNX933, allow me to introduce you. I told you about him before, he's a no-good friend of mine. He believes his eyes have an effect similar to an aphrodisiac. Really? No, they really do have that effect. This is the first time I've met a girl it doesn't work on. Ah, I got it. Is it possible that you could be so in love with Ken that you can resist the power of my eyes? Impossible. This is a weird conversation. Why am I here? Wait, why are you the one denying it, Kent? She doesn't like me. In fact, I'm almost certain she hates me. Huh? QNX933. What do you think he means? Hello? Are you listening? I fully understand your dislike for me. More than I'd like to, in fact. Actually, the word dislike may not describe it well enough. I could even say that I'm hated by you. That's what I believe. 
Huh, I think I got a memory. Uh, whoa. What's wrong, QNX 933? <laughs> E10, it's fine. What? My head's spinning. QNX 933, are you okay? What happened? Are you okay? Is this amnesia? Um, no. I mean, I don't, I don't remember if it's amnesia. Totally clever. Yep. Don't push yourself. Just lay down like that for a while. I apologize. I may have made you remember something terrible. It's not that complicated. It's just amnesia. Not really. It would be simple if you heard it, especially for you. Oh, really? Maybe I'll hear you out over some drinks later. Very well. They're getting drinks! They are friends! Wait a second! You should let us listen in too! Right, QNX 933? Uh... I mean... Both of them is just kind of inviting myself. Oh, maybe he did say anemia. Huh. Yeah. Of course not. Not only are you not at the drinking age yet, you also just collapsed a moment ago. I'll get my things ready. You go home when you feel better. You go home... Oh, when I feel better. QNX, 933. It's all over. We can't help it. We'll just go home for today. But look, I succeeded! I got a conversation! Today sure was surprising. It's unfortunate that we couldn't hear the nitty-gritty of the matter. But getting that memory back was a huge step forward. I think the thing we saw before you got dizzy was one of your old memories. The sudden shock of that memory rushing back is probably what knocked you off balance. That event must have left you an intense impression on you before you lost your memories. Yeah, I was probably upset that he just assumed that I hated him. I mean, that's kind of low self-esteem and I don't tolerate that kind of thing. Mmm, icy water. I mean, I will if it's a friend, but... People, you need to think yourselves of as awesome. If somebody doesn't say they hate you outright, they probably don't hate you. Probably. It's the first memory that came back out of total nothingness... Nothingness, after all. I couldn't even say that I'm hated by you, huh? Kent is a weird guy, but I don't see any reason why you'd go so far as to hate him. Did you really not like Kent before? Don't know. Kent always said that you were constantly arguing before. Maybe they weren't just lover's quarrels. Hmm, lover's quarrels. Anyway, for today, you should just get some rest. You've got three days of work starting tomorrow. And I didn't even study my manual. August 4th. It's the morning of your first day of work. Are you prepared? You read the manual to find out rules and ways of doing things at work. If you remember the content, you should have... should be able to work without having any major issues, but... When you're actually working, unexpected situations can arise. That's fine. I'm a human, I'll adapt. Is she looking at you? She called me senpai! She greeted you pretty coldly and just walked off. She did greet you though. 
Do you think she's your junior at work? Or maybe at your school? Oh, she went into the alley, huh? It looks like there's a back entrance to this building here. I see. I bet that's the entrance for employees. Alright, let's follow her. Good morning. We're both pretty late today. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, she likes Toma better than she likes me. So that's Toma. Wow, that was so friendly. I expected a waterfall of flowers to shoot out of her face. Isn't her attitude way too different from what we saw earlier? I don't know why, but QNX 933 was just standing around at the cafe entrance. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Maybe she did something to make the manager mad. I see. Now I'm worried. Even I get the chills and walk, I get angry. I know. Every time I feel a silence, I just think about quitting. Don't quit. He agrees. QNX 933, if there's anything you don't understand, let me know before Waka finds out. Also, try not to take it to heart if he gets mad at you. Toma, you really are a nice guy. I hope you take care of me if I need help, too. Of course, I don't mind. But I feel like you're just a little over-reliant on me. I'm gonna pronounce that Mine. Oh, you noticed. Although I completely understand why it would be hard to ask Waka. Let's see, this man is the guy who talked to you when you came here before to meet Kent. So his name's Toma, huh? He seems really nice. This girl is Mine. She's cute, but deep down she's hiding a horrible attitude. It sounds like this Waka guy is your, our, your boss or superior. Maybe he's the manager from before. Probably. <laughs> when did the manager appear? Just now? Right, I should get changed. Sorry, I'll do that right away. Amazing, he didn't even have to say anything. It's okay, he doesn't hate me anymore. I got the manual. Ah, I need to make some preparations. I'll get going now. I wonder if he'll expect you to be able to read his mind too. Anyway, you should go change. If you just copy me, you should be fine. Ten minutes later. Ooh, did I mess up? Am I getting fired? So this is your uniform? It's supposed to be a maid. I guess it's Japanese style. It looks really good on you. Just smile if you make a mistake, and I'm sure everyone will forget all about it. Being a girl has its perks. I, I think that works for everybody. I mean, if you're just polite, if you apologize, it usually turns out fine. Anyway, it's time to harvest the fruits of your labor. Wait, I could have sworn this was in the manual. What was it again? I don't know. I didn't read it. My character read it. QNX 933, do you remember? Wow, you're making rookie mistakes like that? That's pretty dumb. Hey, we studied a lot. Maybe having to listen to Ken's long talk yesterday made it so he couldn't study enough. But it was worth it, wasn't it? The manager's gonna get mad at you, I'm sure. Uh, it's okay. All things considered, you're doing really well. Iten, I can't really read that kanji. Help? Please? It's over. Well, for not having memories, you worked really hard.
But, uh, the manager looks mad. Actually, he looks the same as he always looks. Oh, okay. Why are you worse than before? Sorry, let's just apologize for now. Why? Don't be intimidated, and it's fine. When we get home, let's study the manual again. At this rate, we'll die from a scary eye curse. I don't want you to die just because you have amnesia. So he really did get mad. We'll work harder. So you don't get cursed, and so Mine can't make fun of you anymore. I'm okay with this. Doesn't bother me. But still, today sure was tiring. Is every day gonna be tiring? Can't I stay up late? That's only natural. You're working without memories. It's just asking for too much. Well, you're the one who told me to work without these memories. And that I can't tell anyone. Sorry for putting you through this, but I really think you did a good job. At least, all they thought that you just weren't feeling well, and they didn't go so far as starting to suspect you. For today, you should take a long bath and relax. Huh? Studying? You can study after. Oh right, you haven't contacted Kent at all today. I told him not to force himself to text you, so he doesn't even text a good morning or good night. You might not be able to see him until you're done with work in three days. There are still a lot of things we don't know about him. I guess we shouldn't worry about it for now. Well, what if... What if I text him first? Would that be okay? Alright, I'll do my best at work tomorrow. Yes, we made it to work, without a cutscene. <sighs> We've reviewed the manual enough. We also have all that practice from yesterday. I'm sure today will go well. No. No. The manager's still gonna be mad. Alright, let's show the manager and Mine. Good morning. Um, female belt clover Kent. Female Kent? Yep. Huh? Who's this? What are you doing? Not going to change? The manager's gonna shoot his laser eyes. I see, so she's another co-worker. I guess the people here yesterday weren't your only co-workers. That makes sense. She's pretty friendly, unlike Mine. Maybe you two got along. Oh, Sawa. You're here. You're always barely on time. Good morning, Toma. I'm just not a morning person. But it's kind of unusual for this one to be so spaced out in the morning. Yeah, that reminds me. You were acting strange yesterday, too. Ah, it's fine. Yes, the manager is definitely a robot with laser eyes. Wait, were you really? She made mistakes she never would have normally, and then got scolded by Waka. No, he just said why and then zoomed in menacingly. I mean, I wouldn't call that scolding. Seriously? That's strange. Could it have been another fight with her boyfriend? Is that what happened QNX 933? I could give you some advice. Hey, Toma, as her best friend and someone who understands a maiden's heart, I should be the one giving her advice. Okay. Men don't need to get involved in things like this, you know, understanding men. That would be dumb. You'll just complicate things. 
I guess. All right, I'll leave it to you, Sawa. But if you're going to talk to it later, if you don't get changed soon, Maka will show up. All right, then let's go get changed, QNX 933. Just keeping our mouths shut and listening gave us some good information. And none of the memories. I have one! We now know that that girl's name is Sawa, and that the two of you get along pretty well. She probably knows a lot of things about you. We should talk to her more later. Anyway, for now, let's just get on the work that needs to get done. You know, Orion is taking this very well. Unlike yesterday, today's going a lot better. Yeah, the customers aren't giving you strange looks either. Nah, QNX 933, that's like, that's a super short nickname. Let's keep it up and get through this. I don't think that one's me, but it might be. I think it's Sawa, because last transition it was Mine. What it's over. We're all burned out. Ah, uh, QNX 933 isn't too hard to say. Especially since I picked it, and I'm gonna keep saying it forever. Nice work today. Wait, are you all worn out? Are you okay? Now that I think of it, you've been looking tense all day. Am I getting yelled at? The manager. Yes. Good. That's a relief. He doesn't say a lot, but what he does say is something I have to listen to. Wow, the manager was just glaring at you. You really must have been acting strangely. What happened to you? Are you worrying about something to do with Kent? I don't know. Ah, Kent. I'm kind of curious what she has to say. I just want to rest now. Well, in reality, you're the one who was running around and having a hard time, not me. But because we've merged, I can feel all of your fatigue, anxiety, things like that. Oh, that's creepy. Get out of my brain. Go! Leave! Bad bug, go! Go! It didn't work. If I wanted to, I guess I could always cut off my connection to your senses. But I wouldn't understand as much about you if I did that. Wow, you look gloomy. Is it really that bad? I'm, I'm okay with Sawa. She seems nice. Don't tell me you guys are at the point of breaking up. No, actually, I, I think it's going well. Wait, does she think you're worrying about Kent? Wow, I wonder what gave that away, Orion. The thing where she said Kent, like, three or four times? Are you worried about him going to study abroad now that you're dating? Oh, is he doing that? Even though you knew that going in, it is for a whole year. That's a long time. Kent going to London to study at the end of the month would make me worried, too. Why? Regardless, whether you knew about it beforehand or not. Once you start going out, and you're always together, it's sad to start a long-distance relationship after all that. Ah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine! You haven't heard this before? There were no hints at all like that from Kent. He's planning to go study abroad in a month? Are you feeling sad? You can talk to me about it. I don't know. I wonder if you felt sad about it before losing your memories. You know, that's a very good possibility. That could be what all the fighting was about. Um, yeah. Yeah, I do feel sad. Beep boop. Yeah, I don't blame you. Let's talk to Sawa! You were acting like you were fine before, so I thought you didn't mind. But things really do change when you start going out. 
Wait, you acted like you were fine? Why don't you just tell Kent that you'll feel lonely? Ah, uh, but then he won't go study, or maybe he will. He seems like the type who still would, so it's okay. I think if you said that, Kent would be so shocked that he'd fall over dead. But still, I wonder what you were intending when you were going out with him before. Maybe I was studying him. Normally, you'd be really concerned if you couldn't see the person you liked for a whole year. Not me. Well, anyway, what I'm trying to say is, if you ever need to vent, feel free to talk to me anytime. I'm sure Kent will be busy until the 25th, with the conference and all, so I might not be able to see him much. So, I can't see him much, and he's leaving in a month, and it's for a whole year. That's fine. But you only have about a month left together, so you can't be gloomy. You need to treasure this time. Good advice, Sawa. Anyway, I'll be going home first. Wait, hold on! Tell us more about it! Sawa! She left. It's okay, Orion. We'll be fine. Today sure was tough. Again. But about the studying abroad thing, I wonder how you and Kent felt about it. Kent says he wants to see you any chance he gets, but being apart for a whole year is okay? Well, he has to follow his dreams, and a girlfriend could be temporary, so he has to go follow his job first, or school, or whatever. I don't know what this conference on the 25th is, but I guess he's busy preparing for it. He's going out of his way to see you. Maybe that's why you always end up doing separate things when you're together. That makes sense. How does Kent really feel? Does he really want to see you? Yeah, probably. I mean, yeah, probably. Man, I wish I had more clever things to say. Speaking of whom, it looks like he sent you a message. Received a new message. You have Sunday off, right? Let's meet. Okay. Blunt as always, but at least he's asking you out on a date, right? I mean, he could be asking me out on a walk again. That would be kind of funny. There are just no feelings in this. Do you feel anything from this QNX 933? Can't he put a little more emotion into it when he asks you out? He could at least say something like, I want to see you. Why is this a problem? Like, as someone who would not date, why is this a problem? Somebody explain this to me. I don't get it. How will you reply to him? Uh, beep boop. Understood. Let's meet. <laughs> That's a lot like a letter of challenge. <laughs> I'll wait in front of your house at noon. No matter how I look at it, this is an arrangement to have a duel. Anyway, I guess you have plans now to meet Kent the day after tomorrow. Alright, you just need to get through work tomorrow, and then you have Sunday through Wednesday off. Hooray! After dinner, we should review the manual again and do a perfect job tomorrow. That makes sense. But I didn't get another new memory. And that makes me have an emotion. The emotion is beep boop. I think in English, that means sad. Oh, good morning. Ah, it's Mine. You were making a lot of mistakes the day before yesterday. Are you sure you'll be alright today? Is this concern or a challenge? I don't want to have to run around cleaning up your messes. Work harder, okay? You got it. Yeah, she made a lot of fun of you the other day. But we both studied last night. We know all the little details you wouldn't normally know. Just watch. 
Let's go QNX 933. It's time to show off your hidden powers to me and the manager. Will I get praised again? Cause he said good. And that seemed like praise. Job related stuff. Well, that happens, I'm gonna take a sip of this water. We did good job. And I drink water. Not bad at all. You got complimented. Yes. All right, Orion, you need to calm down. Seriously. You're pretty good, QNX 933. You were working really hard today. I see. So you changed your work style. Is that really it? Maybe she was just confused for a while because she was reworking her style. Yes, let's go with that. Nothing to do with amnesia. <laughs> no, that's not it. But let's just leave it at that. You should learn from her, Mine. <laughs> oh man, I feel bad for feeling joy in that. Yes, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I'm not angry at you. You're really popular among male customers, Mine. There are a lot of them who come here just for you. You should be proud of that. You don't need to force yourself to reassure me. Going to go change. Ah, oh, she's upset that I did better. Maybe we hurt her pride. That's okay. Don't worry about her. You should get changed too. Toma sure is nice. He really warms up at the workplace. Fifteen minutes later. What a refreshing day today was. All that effort was worth it. Although I feel a little sorry for Mine. Huh? Good work today. And does she seem mad? Your work and private life seem to be going really well. Does she need advice? I could give her advice. My advice is get amnesia. I heard from Sawa that you started going out with him. Oh. Him. That's great. I haven't congratulated you yet, have I? Hmm. Did you like him? But you have little hearts on your sleeve. So maybe you like the heart guy. If there is one. But why? Why'd it have to be him, of all people? <gasps> Am I a terrible person? Did I steal the person she liked? But she likes Toma, so it's okay. There are so many other good men out there. You've got so many to choose from. Toma's a really nice guy. Shin might have been a little harsh, but he's re also really attractive. And the Ukyo guy who comes to the cafe sometimes was here for you, too. That guy is super hot. Huh? Wait a minute. You know Toma, but who are the others? Customers, apparently. So why? Why would you choose such a blunt, scary, stubborn guy to go out with? I thought nobody else would fall for him. I thought I would be the only one. Oh, she needs a hug. Please, don't fall in love with that weird guy. Uh, what? Isn't that a little weird to say that about a guy you're into? I guess Mine liked Kent. 
QNX933. What do you like about him? Ah, uh, here come the tough questions. Please answer me. Can't you at least do that? Well, what do you think you liked about him? Um, well, you see, he has a face, and it doesn't come off. It's, like, attached to him. So he's not, like, a scary alien with a fake face. Uh, that, that part is, like, cool, I guess. I have no idea. Uh, he's earnest or whatever because I don't know if he sticks to his own way of life. I mean, so far as much as I know he does, but he's like asking me out on dates and stuff, so maybe he changed a little, so let's go with the earnest thing. But there's plenty of guys who are really earnest. I won't give up. I'll show you. I'll definitely steal him away from you. Okay. I'm cuter. I'm more sociable. I'm good at cooking and I'm talented. And I have a great personality. Except when I'm talking to you, Senpai, because I don't like you. So I know I can win him over. I won't give up. Okay. I'll never give him up to you. I'm not really a jealous person, so I don't really care what you try. I mean... If he decides that he likes you better, well, sucks to be me, but I'll get over it. Ah, she's gone. What would the past you have done? Would you have gone up against her? Or would you just let her have him? Nobody but the you before you lost your memories knows the answer to that question. Well, see, because it, there's, like, more people, like, his feelings matter, too. Like, if he doesn't like her, then, I mean, that's not nice to her. But you can't control that. Alright, starting today, you've got some time off work. You have a date with Kent today. Uh, it's almost time to meet. Maybe you should go outside. Ah, uh, it's noon now. Sorry for the wait. Was he late? He came at exactly noon? What is he, a robot? Um, beep boop? Let's go. Today I was thinking of walking down the path where we used to meet often before. I walked down memory lane, so to speak. That's a surprisingly normal date. I ignore this. This end here. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist, and you never saw it. Wait, a walk? Could that mean this is going to end up as another walking race? I'm up for it. He's walking too fast and saying nothing! Oh, I think this was around where Kent lives. Was I stalking him? It's a different path from the walk you take to work, so it's kind of refreshing. Although we don't have time to take in the scenery. <laughs> well, I could be that insensitive because I'm a jerk. You can't catch up to him. Are you okay, QNX 933? Does he seriously think this is a date? He should learn from that playboy friend of his, Iki, I think it was, about how to treat a girl right. No, no, he was a jerk. I think it's storming. Or somebody is rolling bowling balls in the hallway? Not really sure. Wait, is this a grave? Where are we even going? <gasps> Did we have our first date in the graveyard? What's wrong? Why aren't you keeping up? Um, you're walking too fast. Just gonna be blunt here. I see. I apologize for that. 
Huh, he listened to you. That's unexpected. He did say any time I had a problem to talk to him about it. I am communicating. This makes things work. I thought you were being quiet, and the first thing that comes out of your mouth is a complaint. That's a lot like you. Ah, he's smiling. He likes complaints. This is weird. Wait, what? Isn't he taking your words in the completely wrong way? If you're going to walk, do you have anything to say besides complaints? Wow, he's so unreasonable. All you have are memories from this week. What the heck are you going to talk about? Work. But if you don't say something, he won't start talking. And if he doesn't start talking, he won't stop walking. What will you do? Uh... <laughs> You know what, I'm just gonna come out and say it. A co-worker told me we're love rivals now. Now that's a fairly interesting topic you've brought up. What kind of reaction do you want from me? Just your opinion or whatever. You seem bored today, too. It doesn't appear that you have any interest in spending time with me. To top it all off, the topic you brought up was about your co-worker being your rival in love. So, what about it? Are you saying you want to introduce me to that other woman? That's reading... Like... There's between the lines, and then there's way into it. Reading way into it, and then there's just not even on the same page. This is not... This is not even in the same book. I see, so you have a little enthusiasm for dating me that you wouldn't even confront your coworker about this issue. It must already be uncomfortable for you to be with me, and having a rival at work on my account would only increase that discomfort. I believe you're trying to hint that you wish to break up. Am I correct in making that assumption? Why would you assume that? Are you saying I'm wrong? Then what was your intention? Were you just trying to make idle conversation? Yes. Yes, I was. You always immediately question my words in the same way. I'd like to compliment you for having a splendidly quick reaction time. But to be honest, you're simply acting childish. Am I? Guys, was that childish? I'm often told I'm insensitive, but you're the same. Do you honestly think I'd enjoy a topic like that? Huh, I didn't think of that. My opinion hasn't changed from before. I believe it's most efficient for humans to have multiple relationships with the opposite sex over their lives. However, that doesn't mean one should have multiple relationships at the same time. I neither have the desire nor the time for such a thing. I'm not even capable of sufficiently attending to you. Of course, if one becomes tired of another, it's most efficient to immediately break up and move on to the next relationship. But I believe it's still too far too early to consider that. In other words, even if there is another woman who has an interest in me, that has absolutely no meaning at present. Well, he's putting this in a very logical and non-jealous way. However, have you become tired of me? If that's the case, I can see some meaning in your previous statement. No. Wait a minute. What's going on? Isn't this an overreaction? We're just trying to make conversation. And he's talking about breaking up when you get tired. Does that mean he intends to break up when he gets tired of you? Probably. I mean, if I ask that, he's just gonna say yes. That's quite a decisive statement. Paranoia is a symptom of mental illness. Do you fully understand the meaning of what you said? Do you understand human speech? Your rebuttals are always emotions-based, thought up on a whim. It was the same way the last time we argued, too. Don't... don't... It's okay, Orion. It's okay. 
If he kept saying things like this, it would only be natural for you to always be getting mad at him. I'm not angry. Wait, huh? <gasps> a memory! Yay! Your heart was broken by a person you admired? I see. But what about it? Listen, I'm neither a real teacher nor am I your counselor. I was simply invited here as a mathematics lecturer for a short time, and unofficially at that. What kind of answer are you expecting coming to me for romantic advice? Ah, uh, it's not advice, but idle talk? I see. So you view your failure in love as an interesting anecdote? In that case, I'll state my opinion. It's most efficient for living creatures to change the target of their affections one after another. It allows for a large number of emotional experiences, and breaking up when one becomes tired of another allows for a higher rate of producing a sizable offspring. Huh. I don't know what to say to that. In other words, your failed love is quite beneficial as a college experience. You should continue doing the same. You know, it was a cold way to put it, but he's probably right. I'd like to hear your reasoning for this. What makes you believe that I deserve a slap from you? That's a weird reaction to getting slapped. You feeling dizzy again? Is your body always this weak? This isn't the time for an argument. Can you walk? I'll accompany you home. Well, I wasn't really intending to argue. You had a date today, but it was such an unpleasant conversation. Now is fine. But one of your memories did come back, so I guess it's not a total loss. Was it the path or the topic? Anyway, after seeing that memory today, we know two things. The first is that Kent was going to your university as an unofficial math lecturer. I wonder if this is how you and Kent got to know each other. What's an unofficial lecturer? The other thing is, it seems like you and Kent didn't get along, even back then. Both of the memories that have come back seem to be of fights with Kent. Oh, but if you really didn't get along, you wouldn't talk about your failed relationships with him. Maybe that's what triggered the bitterness in your relationship. Regardless, there's no mistaking that Kent had an important place in your life. All of the memories coming back have been about Kent, so I guess he's important somehow. Anyway, I think continuing to spend time with him will be the quickest route to recovery. Although you kind of ended up parting on bad terms today. I have an idea! Let's text and apologize! It's okay, though. I'm sure this was just an everyday occurrence for you, too. It's likely he'll call you over to talk again tomorrow. Just like on the first day. Orion never takes my ideas. I mean, he can't hear me, but he never takes my ideas. Maybe it's because I have memories. And she doesn't. Ah, here it is. The letter of challenge. Alright, bring it on. I wanted to talk with you, not argue. If you feel the same way, come by the cemetery. Huh? This isn't a challenge at all. Could Kent be feeling down after the fight yesterday? Probably. Let's try going over. We'd like to have a talk without fighting, too. Maybe I just like arguing. Of course I came. I was summoned. Beep boop. Do I usually not? 
this isn't complicated, E10. This is just humans. Humans are human. I mean, he's a robot, but he's really human. What could he want to talk about? Let's take a little walk. <laughs> is it going to be fast again? What do you think when we're walking like this? Why do you simply follow along quietly? Um, what are you thinking, Kent? Could you tell me that I was trying to lead up to talking about myself? I suppose that means it's unavoidable. You see, there's something I think about when we talk like this. This path has a lot of couples. Music changed. Why are they all holding hands while walking? For some reason, I want to hold your hand too, but no matter how I think about it, I can't find a reason to do so. Ooh, ooh, pick me! I got a reason! Pick me! Why is everyone holding hands? Is it a ritual to confirm one's affection? Is it just one step in increasing levels of physical contact? And what about in our case? Well, see, if I, if you grab my arm and I grab your arm, then we'll be walking at the same speed. So if you move too fast, I could at least like float by you or something. I doubt you have any affection for me, and I think it's too early to increase our level of physical contact. In other words, there's no necessity for this action, and yet I want to hold your hand. Why? He really is a robot. What do you mean, why? QNX 933, could this mean... I'm sure you would become angry if I suddenly grabbed your hand. What reason could I give to explain this to you? Would you simply shake me off? And is it ever necessary to hold hands? Am I simply trying to conform with the couple surrounding us? Probably. If I can't find a logical reason, I can't accept it. But I like you, and I just... When I walk next to you, I can't help but notice your hands, and that makes me walk faster. Oh. Maybe it was a little too fast for you to keep up. If so, I apologize. The complaint worked. It worked. Everybody look! Progress! I'm doing this right! Your attitude towards me has changed since we began dating. You haven't snapped or spoken sharply to me. Thanks to that, the past week has gone very smoothly for the two of us. I'd like this to continue, if possible. However, I can't find a reason why your attitude changed. I don't know if I should try to move things forward. <laughs> well, is bad end just me ending up alone? Because that doesn't sound like a bad end either. It just sounds like a part of life. Unless bad end means I don't get my memories back, in which case that is a bad end. <laughs> I've been thinking about these during our walks. Do you have any other questions? Uh, maybe we should hold hands. Is it really okay? If you say it's okay, then we should do that. Sorry, tiny mental break. Last night, I swallowed my pride and consulted EQ on this situation. Then after laughing for quite some time, he simply said, Tell her what you told me just now. And you actually decided to hold my hand like this. So, I suppose that means EQ was correct. Okay, now the truck can run me over. If the results are correct, the reasoning that forms the basis is also correct. It may be best if I tell you more about what I'm thinking. And it may be an incorrect assumption on my part, thinking that talking to you will always result in an argument. 
Do you want to hear more of my thoughts? I do. Anyway, let's talk about yesterday. I know we fought and were terrible people. A matter of one of your friends possibly having feelings for me. I thought of several responses, but I really can't think of a way of saying that it's easier to understand than what I said yesterday. I can't understand why you would say something like that. It only sounded like you wanted to break up with me. However, we'll see no progress at this rate. So I'm thinking of saying what EQ told me to say. It doesn't matter who may have feelings for me. I love you, and those feelings won't change. See, I knew it. I knew I was doing things right. I did it. Will you believe me? I was told this would happen if I said this, but did you understand what I'm trying to say? That you're not jealous, and you don't care, but you like me? I see. That's good. Let's go back. The wind's pretty cold today. You're wearing, like, a thousand layers and a bunch of belt buckles. How are you cold? Still waiting on that truck! Oh, right, there's one more thing Iku told me to do. Apparently the most appropriate action to take after a fight is giving a gift. It, it really depends on the situation. Like, it depends on the people. If you just apologize, it's fine. Sometimes you don't even need to apologize. It's really people and context dependent. It's really hard to say when the advice is correct. So what'd you get me? I did some research and it seems the best gift among couples are handmade items. <gasps> you made me a thing? I thought about it, but I couldn't come up with anything else. So I ended up making this. Is this a handmade <laughs> <the> workbook? <laughs> I've been hiding since the mood shifted, but after seeing something like this, I can't just sit by without saying anything. Your major is psychology, so statistic st statistical calculations are essential. But your ability to calculate is too slow. I believe this will help. <laughs> <laughs> Solving even simple mathematical problems on a daily basis like this is like exercise for your brain. I'd like to recommend this method to you. What do you think? <laughs> ah, the game broke me. Thanks. Alright. I mean, I need to exercise my brain. So I guess this is actually a good gift. I'll be going now. I plan to be home tomorrow. I'd like it if you visited, if possible. See you later. <laughs> wow, today's Kent was really kind. It made me feel weird. Oh no. Is Orion in love with Kent too? Just kidding. Seriously, a handmade math workbook? Alright, oh, Kent was once your math teacher. Maybe that's why he's worried. It seems like the past you was even more prone to argument than Kent is now. It really is confusing when someone who was that argumentative starts t talking normally all of a sudden. Well, it's not that it's argumentative, it's that it's a miscommunication. Like, he's taking the word's literal meaning instead of the figurative, like, societal meaning. Like, the paranoia thing. I don't think he has a mental illness. He's just, uh, that's hyperbole. And he doesn't understand it too well. But still, it seems like Kent seriously likes you. Yeah, I knew it. I was surprised to see such a rational man turn all awkward and humble like he was just now. 
That fight yesterday must have really affected him, even more so because you haven't started arguments with him lately. Your memories haven't really come back yet, but it seems like you'll be able to build on this relationship. That's good. I mean, I would prefer the memories, actually. Want to go visit Kent's house tomorrow for a change? I think you'll be able to get closer to him now. And then I have no choice, so I guess I'm going there. But still, no truck. Huh. August 9th already? Where has the time gone? Please make yourself at home. Is there something you'd like to talk about? He's learning. After yesterday, I started thinking that we should talk more in order to improve our relationship. <laughs> the truck will drive through the house, huh? If you have any issues with my attitude or my actions, I'd like you to tell me. Amazing, he actually started a conversation. Okay, then maybe we should take him up on this offer and start asking him about things we want to know. Are you really busy right now? I suppose so. My graduation program is on summer break, but I'm busier than others going through it. See, I don't want to bother him if he's too busy. It'll be like this until the 25th. Once the conference at the end of the month is over, and my studies abroad are finalized, I'll prepare to leave. It seems I won't have much time to spend with you before my departure. What do you think about studying abroad? Of course, I'm happy for the offer. It's a result of my research being well received, and this is an important chance to gain knowledge from abroad. It would increase my credibility as a researcher. In the long term, I believe my success would also become a benefit to you. I'm serious about dating you, and I'm looking toward long term, long term, long term developments in our relationship. Although I'm not sure how you feel. What? Long-term developments? Does that mean marriage? Yeah, that's what was going through my head, but maybe he just means he'll buy me a present one day? I don't know. Wait, you seem like you could break up any day. Why is he making huge plans like that already? You see, he's preparing for the worst, but he also would like to think of the best. So, I guess he's preparing for that, too. So, what you working on? I'm preparing for the conference. Yeah, we know that already, but can't you tell us more? Oh, do you want to know more? Let's see... I'm mainly preparing slides and manuscripts for a presentation. My thesis has already been completed and published. That's actually pretty impressive. It was well received, and that's why I was offered a tentative chance to study abroad. But it won't be finalized unless I'm officially approved at the conference. So, succeeding at the conference on the 25th is paramount. This is an important event for me. I see. Now we finally know what he's doing. I mean, we sort of knew. Sawa sort of told us. Do you have any other questions? If not, I'd like to return to my work. I'm a little behind in my progress. To be honest, you're interfering. <laughs> when you're around, I think about you. I can't concentrate on my work. Because of that, I'm getting further and further behind. Oh no! Then you don't need to call me over, it's okay. Ah, uh, sorry about that. I'm sure the time you spend here is boring. And it would just cause you trouble if I'm the one who called you over, and then complain about not getting my work done. Well, that's right, but he doesn't have to be so harsh about it. I think that's just how he talks. If you don't choose your words wisely, he'll take it the wrong way. Yeah, some people do that. Sorry, I was planning for us to have a peaceful day today. Anyway, I won't be able to talk with you much, but if you need anything, feel free to ask. 
It's true that I'm busy, but that doesn't mean I don't want to talk to you. I want you to understand that. See, problem solved. Uh, that was really strange. Not sure how to even respond. What will you do? Will you study your work manual a bit more? Or would you rather try the math workbook you got yesterday? You know what? I'll do the math. I did perfect at work. Let's give it a shot. I think Kent said he'd check your work, too. Ah, you're going to try that? And then I'll check your answers. Okay. Are you ready? I can't spend much time on this. We'll go one after the other. Oh shoot, is this a minigame? Do I have to do actual math? No. I should have studied my work manual. No! Not the math! There are ten questions in total. Eh. Reaching over, I now have a calculator. No E10! Homework is bad! Very well. Begin. I hope these aren't timed. <sighs> A is walking at 5 kilometers an hour. B is walking next to him at 4 kilometers per hour. How many meters apart will they be 30 minutes from now? I don't know, a half? Yay! <laughs> yes, Maru. Alt F4. Help! Save me! And these are all like word problems too. Ah, uh, those are the worst. A and B meet on Sundays through Wednesdays. If August 1st is a Monday, how many times will they meet during the month of August? I don't know. Sunday through Wednesday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Four days. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go with the middle. C changes girlfriends once every three months. He began dating his current girlfriend on June 1st. If today is July 9th, how many days will they break up? They will never split up. <laughs> A can carry 20 books at once, and B can carry 10 books at once. How many minutes will it take for them to carry 200 books to a nearby bookshelf? Assume that each round trip is 4 minutes. Um... Twenty... And ten is thirty... Two hundred books... I'm gonna use my calculator. I'm actually gonna do this. 200 divided by 30. That didn't work. I'm gonna go with, um, 28. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna read it. Trees are planted at 3 meter intervals on the path that A takes walks on. If A walks for 15 minutes at a speed of 4 kilometers per hour, how many trees will he pass? That many. A morning glory plant watered with an energy drink grow Energy drink? Grows 1.5 centimeters per night. A morning glory watered with regular water grows 3 centimeters per night. I wonder if he actually did this. Like, he has plants back there. If the normal plant started at 16 centimeters and the energy drink plant started at 10 centimeters, how many days will the energy drink plant grow past the normal plant? Uh, never? C has solved 39 of A's math puzzles so far. C's percentage of correct answers is 78%. How many puzzles has A presented to C so far? I don't know. Uh, I was just gonna pick C all the time. I mean, the third one. There are a thousand students at Nishiki University, 30% of whom are female. 
If Nishiki University merges with Nyoga University, which has 900 students and a 50% female ratio, what will be the new overall female ratio? I'm gonna go with 42. <sighs> Look, I'm not even trying. Cultivating yogurt grass requires 150 cc of yogurt juice. If one uses a cylindrical beaker, 10 centimeters in diameter, to measure the yogurt juice, how many centimeters high should it be filled to properly water the yogurt grass? Um... Yeah, I probably should have known that, but I didn't. The manager can increase sales on a rainy day by 50%. Well, Mine can increase sales by 30% on a sunny day. Assuming average monthly sales are 1 million yen, which one should work during the month of August to push sales over 1 million yen? Uh, the manager? I didn't do well. Anyway, that's all. Was that a good mental workout? Do you want to try it again? No! <sighs> Very well, I'll return to my work. Don't complain, Horayan, that's my job. Could have gone a little easier on you. No, I should have known those things, I just... I'm streaming instead of, like, recording. If I were recording, I would pause and I would do those math problems. And then I would give the answers on screen. But I'm streaming, so I can be lazy. No, it's okay. He's not the owl in Zelda, so I'm fine. I'm not gonna accidentally hit yes. I guess we should just relax and read one of these books. I mean, he's gonna get his work done too, so... We spent time together or whatever. Uh, we were concentrating so hard, and now it's super late. It's dark outside now. We should probably go home soon. Are you going home? Be careful on your way back. Okay. Wow, it's totally dark now. We really should be careful. Do I have, like, a knife or something? Kent was being unusually kind, so he ended up getting comfortable and hanging around too long. Sure, you were both doing separate things, but your attitudes made it seem like you were really a couple. Yeah, that's, that's how it goes. Maybe he was always calling you over because this is really how he wants to spend his days. Yeah, if you're comfortable around somebody, you don't need to talk. Ah, QNX 933. Hi? Why are you walking alone at this time of night? It's too dangerous. What? I'd like to walk you home, but I don't know what I'd end up doing, so we should avoid that. What are you talking about? Do you know him? He called you by name. But well, it may be dark outside. The sun only just set. You don't need to be escorted. And he said, I don't know what I'd end up doing. What's that supposed to mean? Hopefully not, Maru. Ah, sorry. It probably seems suspicious. He's super suspicious. How could I explain this? Let's see. What are you doing now? Could you be heading back from Kent's place? Is he my stalker? Kent's house was around here. His eyes look... he looks really tired. Wait, 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 what? He knows Kent too? Hmm. Then does that mean you're going out with Kent now? Are you wary of me? Yes, I am! I'm not asking you a very difficult question. You're going out with Kent, right? Seems like you don't like me. Yeah, you're kinda suspicious. <laughs> yes, he's Roxo the Clown. Oh well. The fact that you won't answer means I'm probably right. 
What's with him? Why is it his business whether you're going out with Kent or not? Now then, what should I do? You won't die with Kent. What? What? Sorry, never mind that. Forget it. There's no way you could forget that. Um, yeah, actually, there is a way. It's called amnesia. I think you forgot that exists, Orion. Anyway, you shouldn't walk a dark street alone like this. You never know what could happen. Like being greeted by Roxo the Clown? He's the scariest thing here. Whatever you do, don't be alone at night from now on. It really is dangerous. Do you only come out at night? Anyway, I'll be going now. Who was that? Hey, let's hurry home. I don't understand, but I'm really scared of what he said. I feel like we met the Grim Reaper. Is that foreshadowing? Do you think that's the Grim Reaper? He was really scary. August 10th. Well, I've been streaming for three hours. So, on that note, I'm gonna save and I'm gonna go. Uh, and since I want to see the rest of this game, I don't know, maybe two days from now I'll stream again. I'll, I'll keep Twitter posted, but probably not YouTube. But I'm gonna upload this to YouTube. So I'll see you next time.